Well, Brooke, tomorrow I'm heading up to Stewart for the air show. You were there today, so what's what should I dress like tomorrow? Like, what's the <laughs> weather going to be? It's going to be hot. <laughs> it was so hot today. A lot of people drinking a lot of water and also just, you know, trying to stay in the shade as much as they could, Jade. So definitely make sure you're hydrated because we're going to see temperatures feeling closer to the upper 80s once again. Hey, here's a look at the lighthouse over in Jupiter. What a beautiful night. I mean, today was a very stunning day here across South Florida and the Treasure Coast. It was definitely on the hot side. We had temperatures in the upper 80s near record heat, and we're expecting much of the same for tomorrow. 81 degrees in Jupiter, winds out of the southeast there at 15, so that's some very warm air still filtering in from the the Atlantic. Temperatures over the next few hours do stay within the mid to upper 70 range and then eventually will heat into the 80s, mid 80s very early on right around lunchtime and then from there we're going to have temperatures just feeling steamy so told you guys you want to drink a lot of water. Now we do have a solid frontal boundary over the state of Florida really not doing too much for our area but as we take things out west this is the area that we're going to keep our direction and our eyes on because we're going to see a buildup of moisture that's going to work its way across the Gulf Coast state eventually some of that moisture building into here across South Florida and that'll begin midweek all the way through Thursday as well. So we do have some wetter days ahead, especially during the dry season. We have those as impact weather days because we're going to see a little bit more rain than what we've seen in quite some time. So we're talking good amount of coverage right around 50% of the area. We'll get some showers and thunderstorms. Again, impact icon up just so you know that today we're going to be watching the radar for you. Taking things down south into the Caribbean Sea, we have an area that we're going to watch to become better organized by the midweek. And it won't impact us here in Florida, but it could impact the Caribbean islands. So Jamaica, Haiti, uh, even the Dominican Republic, Cuba could be dealing with some impacts from this. So let me show you vorticity. This is upper level spin. And we do have a little bit of that energy right there over Cuba that we're going to be watching. So really just something to monitor as we get closer to the finish line, guys. Hurricane season ends November 30th. Upper 70s right now in Vero. We have 73 in Okeechobee, so quite the range. Low 80s down in the Palm Beaches. Tonight, temperatures dropping off a few more degrees, mid to upper 70s across your neighborhood. And then tomorrow, back into the mid to upper 80s. Do you think we're going to see a couple of spotty showers, at least in the afternoon, mostly inland, but we could see some later rain for the Treasure Coast. That'll be a little after sundown, so just be on the lookout for that for your Sunday. Other than that, beach body conditions, east wind around 10 to 15. Of course, winds will pick up midweek, so it's actually going to get pretty rough offshore. So we do have impact weather days for your Wednesday and Thursday. Other than that, though, because of the rain and the clouds building in, that's going to keep our temperatures a little bit on the cooler side midweek. Jade?